welcome back to my channel. It's Alex Michael May. We're doing a little Sunday reset today. Um, but all I really know that I'm going to be doing with you all is going through some packages and sometimes they do build up and they have right now. Uh, Sparky just said it's like Christmas morning every day. What do you do? He's mooning me while grabbing a trash bag. We love to see it. Um, yeah, so on Sundays I like to do some resetting. I like to have some fun. So we had such a fun time making, what do we make, babe? Dole Whip. Dole Whip! We made Dole Whip and uh, they do sell Dole Whip on Amazon, like the, the mix. And you guys, it was, we had just, I just introduced him to Dole Whip for the first time in Palm Springs. They have like, I don't know if it's really an authorized detail or what the rules are, but whatever. I think maybe it is. It was unreal. And uh, we had like a super nice brunch. So it's just a very slow day, but something that I've committed to myself is to try to move any work deadlines on Mondays and try to take Sundays to reset and Mondays to plan for the week and then work the rest of the week um, as planned instead of just jumping into work on Mondays, which I do sometimes, which overwhelms me because I haven't even planned what I'm doing. And so I get into the week feeling overwhelmed. So I wanna try something new this week where I block out my time because there are some really exciting projects that I wanna work on. And I feel like I've been talking about them so for, so for so long that I haven't been bringing them to fruition. So one of the things I wanna try this week is time blocking. Um, let me know if you guys have any experience with time blocking. If you consider yourself to be an expert in time management, I would love to get any advice you have. Um, when my sister was here, she's really good at that. She's a teacher and she has so many hobbies and she has so many extracurricular things she does for her students and for the school and for the district and stuff like that, that it blows my mind. I'm like, how do you have time for all of it? And yeah, she just said, it's like deciding that, that you will take that time. It's by carving that time out and putting it in for you and making it non-negotiable. And I know that sounds simple, but I was journaling about it today. And I'm like, what if I just set aside one hour to work on that project I wanna get done a couple times a week or even once a day, at least it would be moving forward. So I'm really hoping that I can change my mindset and uh, get more done. Cause I have been scheduling in more time for creative fun and play, which I used to never allow myself. Even taking some time to like make Dole Whip randomly or just watch something inspiring or literally do nothing or read a book for fun are things that I've denied myself a lot for a long, long time. And now building that time, it almost energizes me and gives me more time to do other things. Um, anyway, today we're just gonna be going through boxes and since I'm doing it anyway, I thought we could do a chatty PR unboxing and maybe Sparky can give us his two cents on stuff too because he still doesn't, he likes to open packages and stuff. And so we like to do it together, but I feel like he's still new to this world of like, why do you get so many packages? <laughs> oh, it's so, I have no idea. This is extremely cute. Oh, this is so cute for all skin under the sun. I don't know what this is, but it is so cute. Oh my God, this branding is on point. In the sun, in your purpose, in your joy. And she's like diving into the pool. Oh my God, this is so freaking cute. I've never even heard of this. Wow, I'm really excited. I'm really excited about this. You can't tell. I love discovering. Oh! Sorry, wow. Oh my God, this is seriously cute though. I really do love it when brands do send things that I use because you know, I feel like, yeah, the excess packaging and all that is something to consider. But I feel like this is simple, it's to the point, it's recyclable and it has things that I de really definitely want and would use. So this is a non aerosol invisible mist sunscreen. It's an SPF 50 sweat and uh, water resistant. I love SPFs, obviously it's super important and I've been trying a lot of different ones lately and I'm really excited to try this one and I'm not gonna lie, this branding is probably the best sunscreen branding I've ever seen. This is their Sheer, it's vegan, broad spectrum SPF lotion. So they have a lotion and a spray. Let's check this out. Um, there's another brand that I think I'm gonna open that I requested. Someone I knew had like worked there and was like, oh, do you want me to send you one of these? And I was like, yeah, great, please. It's a clear gel sunscreen, which I'm really excited about that one too. This is a sheer moisturizing sunscreen. When I was in um, Greece with Callie, she had one, I can't remember what it was called. I'll need to ask her because I loved it so much. It was an amazing smelling body lotion that had SPF in it. So it was enjoyable to put on and it smelled amazing. And I kept thinking like, I wonder if they sell that in the US. I need to figure out which one that was that she had. Also, can we talk about how cute my nails are with the branding? Because that's actually a real moment. I'm just really into all these fun colors right now. And then they gave this little bucket hat, which is ah, so cute. I'm gonna keep this on for a second. And then a cute little tote bag. 
so cute. Really, really like this. Um, stoked about sunscreen, babe. We better go back to Palm Springs or something. Okay, this is a Charlotte Tilbury box. So I have a feeling I'm gonna link what's inside. Okay, have you guys, are you Charlotte Tilbury fans? And if so, have you, which products have you used and which do you swear by? Because so many people I know like have sworn by like the flawless filter and I've never tried that. I was supposed to have that flawless filter setting powder. I've never tried that. So if there's something I need to try, please let me know because I've kind of stuck to the foundation, some of the skincare, um, and what else do I use by them every day? The liner. That's kind of all I've gotten. To oh, I use the Pillow Talk um, lipstick or the lip cheat liner almost every day. But other than that, speaking of, Oh my gosh, the Dream Lips Kit. So I know that this was on Sephora sale or this was on sale somewhere, um, but this is uh, their Lip Cheat format. So it's the Lip Cheat liner with the matte lipstick. And then, I don't know, something else I think. Different product. Oh, Pillow Talk, the matte revolution and a hyaluronic, oh, lip mask. That's cool. I love this color. It is the most natural, perfect. Like, I think what would be fun for this is if I actually demoed the products real time in this because I never do that and why not? So let's put on so you can see how good these colors really are. Um, a lot of times you guys will ask me what are my favorite natural lip colors because I almost always look like I don't have lipstick on because I don't really do like colored, like really pigmented lipsticks. I don't know why. Sometimes I'll do a red, but mostly I just like a nude. I kind of like it to look like I don't have anything on at all. So this is like the lip mask. Oh, but it looks like it has color in it. How's it go up? What's happening? <gasps> Whoa, okay, I'm, I don't actually know about this. Is it an actual mask? What is this? Plumping lipstick gloss. Okay, fine, I'll just put it here. Mm. Oh, oh, oh my gosh. Mm. The thing is it's so thick and creamy, but it's not sticky. It feels so hydrating. I love how it's like a little glossy, but it's mostly just a natural color. Okay, this is gonna be my everyday go-to right now if I want it glossy. So if I want a glossy, I'm gonna use this one because this looks like one that I just ran out of that I haven't been able to find a replacement for because they discontinued from a different brand. So this is Pillow Talk and it's their higher look kiss thing. So it's like a little like lip mask, but it, the color you're always gonna be looking for is Pillow Talk if you want that. But God, I don't wanna wipe this off because it feels so freaking good in my lips. I just realized they're quite dry. Oh, it makes me feel so to wipe it off. Also, normal people would probably get up and like use a Q-tip or something and I'm a dirt ball and I just wiped it on my hand and I'm over it. Okay. This is a Pillow Talk Lip Cheat. So it's to reshape and resize your lip. It's a liner if you wanna overline and stuff, which I just don't because I don't know. Clearly I don't have any other makeup on, so I'm looking a little rough, sorry. I guess I could just watch this on my hand. And natural, this color looks. And I've seen it on a few different friends of mine that have different skin tones, and I feel like it works on so many different skin tones to skin tones. Okay, so this is the Pillow Talk lipstick, which I don't wanna actually desecrate this one because I have one I just opened, a mini version of this that I've been using. Um, but then I would just put the matte lipstick right on top. But honestly, most days I just wear the Lip Cheat Liner when I do my makeup and then just kind of leave that on for the day. But from now on, I will be bringing this one. Um, and then the other thing Charlotte Tilbury sent, what's funny about there? Um, and this is the Color Chameleon Eye Beauty Secrets Kit. So these are, oh, Pillow Talk eye, for your eyes. Morphing Eyeshadow Pencil. I don't know about this, but we can try that another time. Do you subscribe to the saying, better late than never? Or are you more of like a you snooze, you lose kind of person? Basically, National Day of Masking was July 16th. And obviously I missed that because I'm behind on everything. But I did see this mask, it's from Clarins, which I know people love Clarins. When I was in the UK with Cal, a lot of the sunscreen, like we used her sunscreen, I used some of her skincare that was Clarins and I was not gonna lie, loving it. So I just opened this little spatula. And this is supposedly, supposed to be V Intentional V Facial Intensive Wrap is a 10 minute solution to morning puffiness and swelling caused by stress, heat, and hormonal, hormones. Whatever, it's hot, I'm often stressed, and I think I'm probably hormonal sometimes. So I was just like, why not? Let's just put this on my, let's put it on right now. Ooh, this smells good, and it looks like a whip frappe. It almost looks like a white version of the Dole Whip we just made. Why is everything lead back? Oh, look at this texture. Oh my God, boing, boing, boing. It's fun, it's like, look at it. Oh, it's like whipped. Oh, baby. Oh my God. I'm into this. It's like pudding. 
but like lighter. It's like, it is like a whipped sorbet or like a gelato. Okay, what are we gonna grade his twist? Everybody yeah. chime in. How are you grading this do? For me not being a twist. For him never having twisted. Okay. Oh, thanks, babe. Uh, so helpful. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Oh my gosh, guess what he's gonna make us? An affogato, like I just said. So it's um, my Nespresso, we got a, uh, you can make coffee in it or you can make actual espresso shots. Okay, I look like a clown right now with this lips, with the lip liner on <laughs> this mask. And I mean, oh no, why does it look so scary? This is a box from Vital Proteins. I can tell by the logo, but I like it and you'll know why as soon as you see it. It looks like my favorite thing in the whole wide world is just basically lemons, lemon bars, lemon curd. Oh my God. Okay, fun, fun fact. When I was in Italy with Callie, we got some really beautiful homemade ceramics in Ravello, which is the little town that we stayed in. It's like signed with a little Ravello little thing under there. But look, I got a little seashell one for me. Is this not the cutest mug you've ever seen? And then I got a matching quayab for the boy. Um, just so we had like little, I just wanted like a little memento, but oh, I want to show you this. Can you see? Oh, <gasps> look how frothy it is. Oh, yes. My lips, sorry, I'm still not over it. Um, okay, so this is by Vital Proteins. And let's see what's in here. Lemon collagen, oh, they have a lemon. Um, they're, I guess it's a lemon collagen peptides. I'm not gonna read collagen peptides again because I already said that a few times. So cool, interesting. I just can't imagine what lemon would taste like. Is it like clear? Would it be like lemonade-ish or is it creamy? It says just add water. I wanna try it, but we're in the middle of an avocado. Okay, this is, oh, okay, I'm not gonna lie. I do feel like sometimes I'm good at manifesting. Cause lately I was thinking like, I want really good quality sunscreens. Like I wanna try some different sunscreens. I want clear ones, like I wanna try this out. Look at, we got a super goop glow stick. This is quality. I get very excited when I get good sunscreens. Like I really love it. I'm very excited about this. Have you guys used this one? I love this one cause it looks, like your whole face is like glowy and shiny in the sun and it feels, babe, do you feel this mask activating? Cause it just hit me. Oh yeah, it's cool. Oh, it's getting cool. Yeah, it's getting cooler. A little awesome. spicy or something though, like spicy cool. Is that cool I feel and not hot? It does. It feels cool to me. Um, okay, so I'm super excited about this, but back to the peptides. I was trying to figure out what to do with this, but they sent this thing, babe. What do you think this is? Oh, oh! look at lemon ice cube mold. So it's just collagen peptides and you just, you can add it to hot or cold water, but I can't imagine like a hot lemon. I'm gonna, I'm gonna experiment with this. Do you guys have any ideas? Comment below for how you do this. And do you have, like, do you use collagen as a supplement or not? Let me know your thoughts and experiences. Oh, I've got some, something very exciting. Uh, I don't know if you guys follow me on Instagram, but um, one of the things I talk about often is my favorite strapless bra because it's absolutely life-changing. And if I were to like describe my bra life right now, number like I love outfits that allow me to go braless. It's not super common because I have a big chest and whatever, but when I can, I love it. Uh, if I can't, I love wearing my Skims bralette because it feels like I'm not wearing a bra at all and it's so comfortable. And like, I guess I'm prioritizing comfort over anything right now. But if I need structure and I need a really good strapless bra, this is the best strapless bra I've ever found. It's so life-changing. I will not pretty much, I, no, I don't. I don't wear any other strapless bra. And I just, um, the brand Wackel reached out and offered to send me a refresher. And I don't actually have it in black right now. So I'm so excited about this. It's called the Red Carpet Strapless. And I link to it all the time. It was just on the Nordstrom sale, which I think by the time this goes live, it's gonna be over and I'm sorry, but they do sell it on Amazon. It's a little pricey. I think it's around 70 or something. I'm telling you it's worth it. I had the same one for years and I finally just got a new one um, this new one in black and I actually got one other as a backup just because like it's that good and that often that I do end up wearing it in the summer um, oh, I got mask on it already um, But for those new to it. I highly highly recommend it if you can get it If you can try it on a department store go for it But if not, I'm telling you it is the best I wear my true size 36 uh, triple D I'm a 36 triple D E Oftentimes people ask me like, do you wear your true to size in it? I do. It is the best bra ever. I did a bounce test on my Instagram the other day where I jumped up and down, they didn't move. It's the best, it's the best, it's the best. Right, we have a Laura Mercier here, which I love. I always love Laura Mercier. This is, oh, cute. Okay, so they sent a little box and they sent a little disposable camera, which you guys know I love these. So I will be starting, actually I'll make this made my August one. I just ended my July one. I did a roll through July for like my birthday and some travel, um, like travel with Cali and stuff. So it'll be so fun to get those back. 
but this is so cool. Translucent loose powder ultra blur. Oh, so it's just supposed to give you like, oh, it says no photo flashback. So they're basically saying, take some flash photos. We promise it won't do a flashback. So that's awesome. Oh, I've never tried this and I need a translucent setting powder. <gasps> Remember I was just talking about uh, how I wanted to try the uh, Hollywood Flawless Filter Powder um, Press Powder. I think that this is an ultra blur powder. So I'm gonna actually try this instead first. This is Laura Mercier and I have been using and loving Laura Mercier since I started wearing makeup back in the day. This is, if this is your sign to purchase or be more diligent about wearing sunscreen, Maybe it is your sign because we have another sunscreen. This is the one that I was mentioning. It's called Naked Sundays and it's a collagen glow mineral sunscreen. So it has plant-based collagen in it and it's a priming lotion. So it's supposed to be like a perfecting primer that has SPF built in, probably like my Tula, which I absolutely love. And their branding is super duper cute. So my Tula is almost out. I think I'll try this after and see if I like it. And if it doesn't compare, we're gonna rebuy Tula. So I'm sure you'll hear about that one way or another if you are interested in that journey. And if not, I'll move on to the next thing. Uh, this is a Radiant Sun Serum. So it's a clear glow. So it's an SPF 50 with a clear glow. Oh, cool. Look at this. Oh my gosh. This is the one I saw online. This is like viral on Instagram. I saw it. Look, they also have a mist sunscreen spray, but this is the one I'm really interested in. Hydrating Glow Mist SPF 50 plus. So I wonder if this is like something you could reapply after your makeup and continue to do it as like a makeup setting spray because that's my favorite kind of SPF, honestly, because the one I put on under my makeup or anything as a primer only lasts for up to like usually 80, 90 minutes or something every two hours. So some are up to two hours, which is ideal. So anyway, oh, spray up to seven times a day. Oh, spray seven times. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I don't know why I just said that. Okay, next box is from Airy. Um, and it's called Smooths by Airy. So forget shapewear, this is you wear. And it came in this really cute, psychedelic, funky looking box. And, oh, this is cute. Like an actual blend, oh no. A tiny blender that can just go with you that is charged by USB. This is too freaking cute, a self cleaning you just put soap in it and blend it and it cleans itself. This is brilliant. Oh my God. Blend jet? This is so brilliant. But ice can even, it can actually do ice. Like I'm just surprised that it's powerful enough. Yes. Yeah. Big blender performance in a compact size. Six foot two in a compact. This is unbelievable. This is the coolest, cutest thing I've ever seen. I'm so excited. Like when would I actually need to make smoothies on the go though? Like that's what just occurred to me. <laughs> I thought that said you could make frozen margaritas while at the beach. There is new shapewear. It's so cute. It's like um, that completely invisible silhouette. And this is, as you guys probably have noticed, my favorite freaking color right now. But I'm sad when the box came, the underwear like somehow came through the little hole in the side of the box and it arrived like super dirty. So I'm gonna see if I can wash the stains out. But if not, I'm kind of sad because these actually look absolutely epic. Oh, sheesh. This is so soft. Speaking of bralettes, I'm just really into the comfortable bra movements now. Like this is kind of the vibe. Okay, so they gave me a large top and an extra large bottom. Usually an area, I'm, I'm, that's my sizing, but um, this looks so freaking cute. So uh, if you're looking for comfortable shapewear, you could try Airy. They often have somewhat reasonable prices and they always have sales. And if you're just looking for something different, and if you don't like giving skims your money, which I know is a fraction of the audience here, and I don't blame you. We all have um, financial autonomy for a reason. Uh, you could try this, but they look really, really comfy and cozy and smooth. And I love Aerie, so, oh, they look so seamless. Oh, we gotta wash these. I really wanna wear it. I wanna, ah, I wanna wear it. This is by Buxom. And I actually haven't worn or like used Buxom in years. Like years ago, I had one of their plumping lip things, I think. And they redid this. So I guess National Lipstick Day. I don't, I probably missed that too, knowing me. Um, plump shot collagen infused lip serum in sexy shades created with a 3D sparkle to create a plumper look. Wee wow. All right, oh wow. Okay, so this is supposed to be a lip plumping dang. They show like a side by side. That's crazy. Actually, oh, should I try this? Let's do it, let's just do it right now. Um, how cute is this? It's like a little boom box. This is cute. So they have filler, flush, gilt. G-I-L-T, like gilded, gilted, like 
shiny, not like goat tea. So I'm like, I don't know if I want to put that on my lips. Collagen infused lip serum. Collagen infused lip serum. They all are, they're just different colors. Interesting, that shiny gold one looks wild. Let's do this one. This is the one I'm most excited about is flush. Flush looks kind of just like more of a nude tone. Like it's hard to tell through the frosted bottle. But I'm curious what the actual shade is. Oh, it's such a like subtle, it's such a subtle color. It's basically like really sheer. It just has sparkles. Oh my God, it smells like uh, a candy, it, like a junior mint or something. I'm imagining with the ones I've had before, like lip venom and stuff, like they actually make your lips like sting while they blow them up. So far, I'm not feeling any weird tingling. Cool, well, these are pretty. I'm excited to see. Uh, I'm interested to swatch the gold because it looks super pigmented, but when you put it on, ooh, okay. That's actually really pretty. Can you see that it's almost just like, almost like the color of like a highlighter, like an iridescent gold? Interesting. And then the clear is just clear. So they're really, really, they are like a serum that's just barely infused with, like the glitter is really what pigments those, if, any, if anything. It's interesting. Oh, it's starting to, I can feel it. I can feel it activating. Idea. It's like, oh, my lips are starting to feel it. It doesn't hurt, but like, you can definitely, babe, would you want to try a plumping lip? Oh, this is exciting. Okay, good American swimwear. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. Wow. I have never tried good American swimwear and oh my God. So it comes in this really cute bag, but it feels so good. It's like so soft and it feels like so quality. I'm like blown away. Look at it. This is a hottest suit. I'm obsessed. Look at the bone. It looks like a corset. It's got padding and an underwire. Okay, I can't wait to try on this one piece. I can wait because I'm not gonna do it for you right now. <laughs> Should I though? I don't want to. That's so funny. <laughs> I, I just don't want to get out of my sweats. You know what? I'm gonna do a random try on this week and I promise you I will include it. Uh, anything else that I open here as well. Uh, so I will do a random try on this week. Okay, uh, this is also very interesting. I have never worn a, oh my God, this is hot. Is this for working out or for swimming? The heel, look at this. Um, it's like a little swim suit, like a wetsuit in that same color, but it just looks so, I'm excited. It feels so good. Wow, I'm actually excited about this. And if it's a really cute hot one piece for like working out and stuff, like maybe I'll just wear it around. Why not? I've been wanting to try those workout onesies. I'm very comfortable here with you all. I wasn't really wanting to get up. Okay, update on the lip product. They look plump. He just said it looked like a bee sting on my face. He's right. I was telling him it feels a little like tingly and warm and that must be what brings the blood to the surface of the lip. Because it do, they do look plumped that my skin tone looks very even. Does that mean it normally doesn't? I'm just joking. That was a trick question. No, it doesn't. It's fine. Um, it really doesn't. But <laughs> he just shrunk it into the wall. Good move. I'm just joking. Um, I, yeah, I do think it really evened on my skin tone. My whole face feels kind of like high and tight. It really did feel like it increased the like, I don't remember what it promised, but whatever it did, it feels like it might've done. I actually do love doing a mask like this before an event. I like Skylar Beauty, like Skylar's fragrances. I've shared about them before. And then since then I've like really loved using a couple that I use in like my daily now. Um, but they just sent this as the After Dark Collection, Deep Dynamic Dimensional. But they show like a, a male figure here, a female figure here. So I'm wondering if it's like unisex. And the packaging is so pretty. It says, it says dream boldly. So I was just gonna try these three scents and maybe we'll see if they're a uh, scents that the, the boyfriend I can share. All right, babe, you wanna do a, a fragrance testing with me? Can you open Did it? you say you're gonna see if these scents make sense? <laughs> no, but I should've. We, coming up first, we have Midnight Moon. Midnight Moon. All right, Midnight have... Moon has notes of Italian bergamot, cranberries, and vetiver. Cranberry. <laughs> the room <gasps> oh this smells so good okay this is what we're gonna do we're gonna spray a bit of it on each of us because i think they're um it doesn't matter though you don't have toxic masculinity come on <laughs> i know you didn't want to try the lip venom i think that's just because it looked like it hurt you think yeah. so this one's more feminine this one is reading highly floral yeah. and feminine. Ooh, the cranberries are really coming through thoughts mm -hmm. 
Yeah, I do smell the, the bergamot. Too. I what is bergamot? Like Can you this. tell me what bergamot is? I think it's a flower or something. Okay. Okay. Whoops. I like this little moon on the back. You see how pretty it is? Their branding is so pretty and this little like yeah. Anyway, and the, uh it's clean beauty if you are interested in clean beauty. Okay, that smells really good. Let's get the next one going. I was gonna like the moon one because I'm so into moon stuff. What's this one? Urban Road or Urban Indigo? Rose. Urban Rose. Pink pepper, amber, and rosewood. Ooh, I subtle spice. Oh, I love subtle yeah, spice. Yeah, it's gonna be good. Back to our regularly scheduled programming. <laughs> I don't know who she is. Hello, Let's put it on your opposite. Okay. Well, I already rubbed. Okay. Oh, you shouldn't rub. I rubbed it in. Sorry. But I wasn't there's. Thinking. Didn't you know yeah. about not rubbing? I didn't know about. Oh, rubbing. that's like a thing that people say not to do now. Maybe I saw TikTok about it. Ooh, ooh. I definitely get that peppery. Whoa. Yeah, I just wasn't expecting it. Yeah. Rose pepper. Ooh, it smells masculine though more. Don't you think? I think it reads more masculine. I can see that. Okay. Interested. Yeah. It could go either way, I think, this one. Okay. And the last one is Indigo Valley. Okay. Now that I'm smelling Midnight Moon more, I do like it. But I prefer the other. Ooh, I don't know. They're just interesting. I've never smelled anything like these. They're not like, you know, like some scents you smell are just familiar and like, you're like, oh, it kind of reminds me of XYZ. Like these are very unique. All right. Indigo Valley. Indigo Valley. We have blueberry mocha See, That's what I'm saying. Like, where also, do they come up with this? We like the bottle design. Oh yeah, we do like the bottle design, 100%. This one, I hope you like this one. Simple. Blueberry mocha, water lotus, or clear wood. I'm oh! Put it on the card. Put it on that stick for me. Because the point is, it's supposed to be on you. Okay, I'm just on you though. He's not gonna put it on. He's getting overloaded. Oh, I like this one. I love it. I love it. It's like a warmer. The other two were like cooler. Mm -hmm. This one's more warm. The blueberry really stands out in a very interesting way. This is my favorite. This is so cool. I love it. Oh, it's nice. Soundtrack for the rest of the video. Sparky's playing guitar and. Just gonna open to the sound of the groove. Melt the day. Oh, I'm excited about this. Okay, my favorite way to take off my makeup, which let's be honest, is not happening as much as it should these days. I've been very bad about taking my makeup off, but honestly, on the nights where I don't take my makeup off, which you can lecture me all you want, it's something I'm working on. The next day, nothing feels better than putting on like a melting makeup. So I love Blue Moon by Sunday Riley. I love Green Clean by Pharmacy. And then I also love another brand called um, Comfort Zone. It's by the same people that make Davinus uh, hair products. Uh, it's like thick, gooey honey. And I love that one too. Uh, Charlotte Tilbury also makes like a double cleanse, which is an oil to start. And then a charcoal that you use after. And it comes with like a hot muslin cloth, like a muslin cloth that you put in hot water to take off. Those are all great options. Um, I've heard that It Cosmetics makes a great melting one that I haven't tried. And uh, yeah, but Elemis apparently has one too and they just sent this to me and it is called a Pro Collagen Cleansing Balm. So you can believe I'm gonna be trying this because I absolutely love, I would use it now, but I don't make fun. I don't need to wash my face because I just masked. But I absolutely love their Pro Cleansing Balm. Uh, so this, sorry, not theirs, but I love like any kind of cleansing balm. It's just, it makes taking your makeup off more pleasurable and easy. And I feel like it, ugh, I don't know. I really hate taking my makeup off. Anyway, um, so I'm also loving the L'Oreal Lash pa Paradise, the washable. Um, also comes off so easily when I'm using these things to dissolve it. This is the Naked Cleansing Balm, uh, the naked one in a small, like a travel. Oh, this is, okay. One of the things I've been asking friends of mine that work for cosmetic companies, I'm like, can you guys make the balms in a travel size, please? Because nobody's going to be wanting to travel with this. Maybe you do, but I just don't, especially when I'm using, doing carry-ons. So the, oh, they have a rose cleansing balm. So they have a pro uh, they have a plain cleansing balm, a naked, and a rose. So I'm so excited to have these in tiny sizes. I hope they actually sell these tiny sizes and that this isn't just a gift thing because that's something I'm gonna want. That's something I would suggest to you all. And then that, oh, okay, this is cool, I think. What is this? Okay, my friend just told me about this and I actually, she I, she told me about them and then she like knocked on my door and left me like a little Ziploc bag with these two of these in it. I can always use more because I'm gonna like wash them, but um, there are these little fuzzy things. They're almost like sweat wiper aways back when you were like an athlete in the eighties who was, I'm just joking. But like my, I have some of those too, but like I will say when I used to take tennis lessons, it was handy to like wipe off so you didn't have to hold a towel. But anyway, um, this is so when you wash your face, you know how it drips down your hands and down your arms. That's the number one reason, do you know what I'm talking about? That's one of the number one reasons, babe, that I get so annoyed washing my face. Same. 
Sames, this is a universal problem. Comment below if this has been a problem yeah, for you guys. I only do it in the shower because of that reason. Sam, it's so annoying. So these catch it. So you just put them like here and then they catch it as it comes down. So brilliant, they gave me that. And then a nice little thin, oh, this is like a nice cloth. Like one of those 100% cotton, really thin, nice one. So just like I was talking about. Where were you 10 minutes ago? I know, I could have used, yeah. <laughs> so this is this is great wanted to note if you ever use these you're supposed to put the balm on your skin when it's dry so i just like happened to find their little graphic it's so cute by the way um it says apply our award-winning pro collagen cleansing balm to dry skin and watch it melt away makeup pollutants and impurities then then it emulsifies which means like you add water to it and it lathers up a little bit and becomes like milky and then you remove it with the damp cloth so it's just amazing it says ops oh, our balms double as a nourishing face mask so you can use once a week for 10 minutes pairs nicely with a bath movie or ice cream unwind relax and melt the day away so it's like a nice little self-care ritual i love the idea of turning something that you kind of dread or chore into a ritual for self-care that you find enjoyable i think that's one of the best ways to form strong habits is to stack them or incorporate them or infuse them or associate them with things you actually love doing. So I love taking a bath at night and I do a lot at night. So on the nights that I do that, I always will put my cleansing balm on, sit in the bath for a while and then like wash it off at my leisure. So that is a hot tip. I just went up to go to the bathroom, TMI, but whatever. But I looked in the mirror and my skin tone is so much more even. Like without any makeup on, I usually have so much like kind of ruddiness and stuff and it just almost looks like very smooth and like, airbrushed or something like you can see the redness but it's not like my skin just looks that good i guess <laughs> weird don't understand uh, how to process that i love how they still have these on i am a child okay uh this is living proof which is a hair brand that i've also been using for years and years and years oh triple bond complex okay so it's a hair strengthener cool apply to clean damp hair and comb through so it's essentially like hair like skincare for your hair um yeah, so it says, oh, this is very, do you wanna know that? Do you wanna know what it says? It's a lot. A game-changing one-step no-rinse treatment that immediately makes your hair eight times stronger. This is a very hot, hefty promise. Uh, and more resistant to future damage while adding softness, smoothness, shine, and manageability. Constructs a 3D network within strands that builds ionic hydrogen and covalent bonds to deliver immediate repair and lasting protection against future damage for your strongest, healthiest hair. It says put it in to your damp hair and wait 10 minutes before you style so like let it put it in your hair let, let it sit for 10 minutes and then you can heat style and the heat like using the heat on it will make it stronger and, oh it says use weekly so i guess i thought that it was like an every time you wash your hair thing but let's be honest i don't wash my hair more than once a week so i actually will probably start uh using this i did go to dry bar if you guys saw that vlog and i really liked it um he just put my hair up for me because he's an angel but um this is still from that dry bar session. And I feel like it still just has like a little bit. Okay, who am I kidding? It looks horrible today. But for me, I don't mind it because I'm a dirt ball. He's gonna break that box for me. Moving on, I realize like I'm embarrassed because I was like saying that it looks good, but I actually do. If I brushed it and added a tiny bit of dry shampoo, not even joking, I think we'd get another day of mileage out of it. Cause like, I'm just gonna stop. Cause the more I look, the more I see it looks bad. And, and I just, I'm gonna move on. I'm just gonna move on. Get into the brand edit box. Push this back a little so we can see a little bit more. Um, so this is by oh, oh she's so heavy. <laughs> oh, this is the brand edit box, um, which I have been getting. I think it's like my third or fourth brand edit box, and they put they like curate like a grouping of brands. Sometimes a person will like have handpicked their favorites, etc. But everything inside is recyclable, and I think these are biodegradable. You can put them in the sink, and they just like disappear. But it's, it's like a fun goodie bag to open. It's basically like if FabFitFun was like elevated. Travel edit. So this is a travel one specifically. Let's see. So about, I'm just going to dig. Oh, okay. So we got a pretty little wooden box here. Looks like it has tea in it because it says Art of Tea. Oh, I've had these when I've been at like different spas and like different, uh, oh my gosh, the white coconut cream. I've heard that tea is amazing. Um, Earl Grey cream, Earl Grey. Pacific Coast Mint, Bright Eyed, English Breakfast, and Matcha. Their branding is so cute. It's actually such a cute little set. I can just put on my counter. I love having tea in my bath. It's one of my favorite things to do is to make a tea and have a bath at night. And then they have these little, like their vitamins that you just let dissolve in your water. It's almost like, do you remember those ones that would dissolve in water? 
that was like a famous commercial alka seltzer remember um so this is a hydration and immune support so those are by noon okay uh then they gave um some wonderful pistachios which are so yummy i actually um would use these on top of salads i'll probably use them for like cooking stuff um i love like um at Trejo Tacos, they put a few pistachios on top of the guacamole. It's amazing. So it's really a great thing to garnish stuff with. Ooh, even our frozen yogurt, like our ice cream we're making. Alrighty, let's get through the rest of this box. And then I need to put everything away, keep cleaning and keep going on my little planning sesh for the rest of the week. Um, but this, this has me intrigued, okay? This is called About Face and it's a light lock illuminating body liquid. So it's like a liquid body illuminator and it has a matching brush. This is something that has me intrigued along with their multi-stick, which I'm assuming is, uh, yeah, a pearlescent gleaming glow. So I think this one's probably more for the face and probably you could use it on like collarbones and stuff like that. But this body one with the brush does have me intrigued. So the next time I have an event, I think we should try this out. Um, obviously it has to have said this. I wonder if this would be, if this is like a more shiny version of the Nivea lotion that I shared. I think I shared that with you guys, right? Cause it is a hot pro tip. Um, anyway, but I, I'm still down to try this. And then there's some stance, some little shorts. These look cute. Some little, ooh, 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 wee, wee, wow. Some little shorts, tie dye shorts by the brand stance, along with some socks by stance, which I always love a no show sock. And these are actually super cute. And I always need more of those. Here's just like a regular sock. Um, then they also have this thing called the bun, uh, honey bunny. So it's a bun. Oh, it's cute. It's like a velvet scrunchie that has a little bow on it, but then it also, this is, this must be the honey bunny classic bun. Oh, oh my gosh. I get it. Oh, so it's essentially like, do you remember those like bun forms that looked like sponges? This is the same thing, but it's a fur ball. So you wrap it around your hair and it gives a bun a lot more volumes if you don't have hair. But honestly, since my hair is so blonde, but it would be even cute on its own. Does that make sense? So like you use it as like a form to wrap the hair around in a bun and then you wrap it with this. It's actually a really cute idea. It comes with everything you need. So first you secure your hair, then you add this little fur and then you add this. And it's actually super cute. So my hair is, um, kind of short right now but i still want to give this a try i don't know if i do you know you're gonna be the first to know this is such a good idea it's an inflatable neck pillow for the airplane so that you can travel with it super okay this is so smart is it self-inflating though no i doubt it right but what's this thing maybe just to remove it i don't know an inflatable neck pillow interested in that tools we always need a new tweezer you know what it means um, oh, this little tiny, uh, cosmetic scissors. Definitely. This would be great for like lash, um, lash strips, etc. but I'm always needing new tweezers. Um, they had a little spritz that same honey bunny brand had, um, like a rose, rose water hair mist. And then the last thing I'm seeing is this brand Klee, which is one of my favorite new makeup brands. I think I like months ago showed you guys their powder that goes from a powder to like a melting lip color. It's like an orange that I love. Um, so I've used that before I bought that on a I can't remember what the name of the site is but it, it curates like interesting makeup stuff um we've got a lip gloss and what is the clee i'm trying to see um i'm trying to see what this actual product is oh hydrating lip treatments a lip care trio but i do love this brand and i just think that this is getting long-winded so oh man there's just a couple more things i still want to show you I have a few more things to go through. Okay, wait, I'm so sorry. There was, this is heavy. One more really cute thing by Pool Boy. It's a super cute inflatable pool. Look how freaking cute this is. Oh no, I don't know what happened to it. Well, it's a super cute little inflatable pool, but this is the pattern. It's this um, like little print. So it just looks really, really cute. And I think it'd be super fun to do a little like pool day out back in a little inflatable pool here it is okay cute do you see how cute i really love pool time and i'm even down oh this one is kinky splash cute so this is actually the exact pattern of the one that's in here it is so cute i want to do like a little inflatable pool day when i went to ali's birthday party she had like one of these filled with like flowers and ice 
because it was such a hot day out for people to just sit and put their feet in it. I thought it was such a cute idea. This would also be such a cute freaking cooler if you were having a party. Um, just cute for life. So I'm probably gonna blow that up and just have a fun pool day in the yard for no reason at all. Okay, I lied because I found one more thing that I think is super cute that I'm really excited about. This is Laura Mercier's Petal Soft Lipstick Crayons. So they actually gave me like all these shades. I can't wait to play with them because like I said, um, like uh, natural looking lip shades are one of my favorite things to hunt for. And I'll find when I go through it, like you should see how many of the lip, the Pillow Talk lip cheat pencils I've gone through. Like it's not even funny. My makeup bag is like a graveyard of them. So I'm always looking for lipstick crayons. I just like them to look really soft, really natural, a little bit matte. That's just my vibe. Um, and so I feel like these colors look really promising, especially this one called Jean, Amelie and Camille. If you can see those these uh this is amelie jean and camille look like they're gonna be the ticket so oh, oh my gosh oh they're so cute oh my gosh this is so crazy i actually picked up amelie because they're labeled on the bottom so i had no idea but it's this really cute pretty matte pink here it is um and i'm gonna actually swatch it on my hand oh my god it's gorgeous look at that okay i'm really excited okay you know what i'm really excited about this like I said, I'm always looking for a new one. I'm so graceful. Oh my gosh, this is it. This is the dream color, honestly. This this would be in the family. All right, so that is my chatty uh, unboxing. Thanks to Sparky's help, he's in the kitchen now. Um, I'm gonna move on with my day. I think the rest of the night I'm going to um, put these things away. I'm going to sit down and plan out my calendar and which projects I'm working on on which days. And then I think I'm gonna sit down and plan my actual day and try to do what I said I was gonna do about um, setting a time specific size, uh, times for certain projects and specific time for doing nothing, whether that's like reading or taking a bath. Like I'm going to really try to build my schedule around doing things that make my heart sing while making sure my deadlines are hit. And I'll let you guys know how that helps with my mental health, etc. I have been journaling. It's been really, really helpful. I've been prioritizing self-care, whether that's like a bath at night or just taking time to even sit in the hammock and read and do things. I think I used to think self-care was sitting and doing all this heavy like shadow work and like, like essentially trying to fix myself is how I would use that. And I think I've realized lately is that we need joy and play and fun in our lives and I need to build in, I need to structure in time to be completely unstructured and not have any outcome attached to it. Cause I realized that that quickly became almost like one of my perfectionistic tendencies that even my free time was spent supposedly trying to better myself. And it's very hard for me to accept that because I feel like I've got so far to go to be the person that I want to be. And I think that's why I push myself so hard. Um, but that being said, like life is also meant to be enjoyed. And that's something that while I am, a, I think I ha like tend to have fun with the mundane, I realized that I was still putting so much pressure on myself um, that I wasn't getting to just be my messy sloppy self as much as I wanted to be. Um, it's not like I even want to be, but I do find that when I am giving myself time to play and be free and be creative. I actually have so much more to give to work, so much more to give to people that I love. And so, um, yeah, if you're feeling any kind of burnout or overwhelm, I highly suggest building in a little time for play or joy and just see if it helps you because it seems like you don't have time for it, but I have found that that's been my saving grace. Anyway, so I'm gonna go uh, work on my week and structure that. And then I'm also doing a project on Instagram with Kohl's um, where I'm breaking down how to style a blazer in different ways just to like look chic in different scenarios because i think obviously people think like a blazer like for work with like slacks it's like what else can you do with it so how can you elevate it so um comment below and let me know if that if you think that'd also be a good youtube it's something i'm definitely going to put on like instagram and tiktok um probably just instagram but um yeah so that is a sponsored project there that being said everything i picked out i like and advocate so if you want a breakdown styling video um i can just use those same pieces and do that for you guys and another thing um that's going to be coming up is uh one of our very favorite brands is having a sale i just discovered coming up and i'm going to get first access to knowing what's going to be on sale and getting to share some of that with you so stay tuned because that's going to be coming too thanks for being here uh you guys light up my life and i have so much fun showing up here and uh just getting to actually just be my full messy self it just feels like such a beautiful um it puts the social back in social media. I feel like a lot of times on other platforms, I have like deadlines to hit and I work with brands and sometimes it can take like that super personal, real connection out of it, even though I have so much fun with it and I love it. 
sitting down here with you guys and just actually living my life normally is such a gift. And so I'm so grateful to all of you who show up and comment and say hello. Um, yeah, I'm grateful you're here. And if you happen to find this video and you liked it and you want to stick around, it would mean the world if you would decide to stick around with us. But um, I hope you're all doing well and taking good care of yourselves. And I will catch you guys in the next video. Oh, 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 oh,